Here we have an ice cube and a beaker, and we're going to move the ice cube from one beaker to the next. And the reason why we're doing that is to show that the shape of the ice cube does not change no matter what container it is in. The particles of a solid, as demonstrated by the ping pong balls, they vibrate in place, but they do not change position. And that's why the shape of a solid does not change when it changes containers. Here we have some purple water in a flask, and we're pouring the water into the beaker. What this is demonstrating is that the particles of a liquid are able to move and slide around past each other as close together as possible, but they can slide past each other, and therefore they take the shape of whatever container they are in. And that's why they can flow also. That's why liquids can flow, because the particles can slide past each other. They're not fixed in place. They do have more energy, more molecular motion um, than the particles of a solid. Here we have the particles represented by ping pong balls. And again, the particles, the ping pong balls, can slide past each other. They're not in a fixed position. This is because they have more energy. They're allowed to move uh, a greater amount than the particles of a solid. And again, this is why we can pour liquids from one container to the next because those particles, they can slide past each other. And the liquid does take the shape of the container they're in. Again, they have more energy than the particles of a solid, and they can slide past each other. Here we have some purple water on a hot plate, and on top of the flask we have a balloon. Now we're going to speed it up four times playback rate, and this is to show that when we add more heat energy to liquid, the particles are going to move even faster. They have more energy. So some of them are going to break away from each other. They're going to get further apart. They're going to start bouncing off the walls of the flask and bouncing off the walls of the balloon and taking up greater space. And this is why the balloon is starting to expand, because those particles of gas are moving faster and faster, hitting the walls of the balloon harder and harder, making it expand. And so the particles are moving far away from each other. Now we're placing the same apparatus into a beaker of ice water. And so the ice water is taking away heat energy, slowing down the particles of a gas, getting them close together, and going back to liquid form where they're as close together as possible. And the balloon deflated. So we're going to go back to our ping pong ball model, and here are the particles of a liquid. Again, they have a certain amount of energy. They're able to slide past each other and move. But if we add even more heat energy, those particles are going to start to speed up and move faster. And soon they're going to have enough energy and motion to start breaking away from each other and getting more space between them. And if you add a lot, lot more heat energy, they're going to move as fast as they can, bouncing very fast off each other in the wall. That's the gas. The gas can take up uh, the most of the space that they're in and it can build up pressure against the sides of the beaker and any container they're in. That's increased gas pressure. So this is showing four times slower playback rate just so you can get an idea of how the ping pong balls are moving. So this is like if they were if the liquid was on a hot plate, the hot plate keeps on adding energy from the bottom and the particles can move faster and faster and faster further apart, filling up the whole volume of the container. The volume of a gas can change, and the shape of a gas can change, and that's because the space between the particles is, there is space between the particles, unlike those of a liquid or a solid.